Aquí andamos, round 2, episodio número 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, número 2. You speak, you speak uh, Mandarin? I didn't know. Мы можем тоже по-русски всякую хуйню наговорить, ребята. Добро пожаловать в эпизод 2. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta say, you said it the first time, you said it the second first time, and now it's official. You can officially say it. Bring it back, baby. I don't know, this, is this the moment? This, this is the moment. We're back at it again, and finally it's official, episode 2. Episode 1 got 15 <laughs> likes on YouTube. We're, we're burning hot right now. And stuff. <laughs> Alright, we're back at it again. So, we are going to play a little game today that is called what? Uh, we're going to play Never Have I Ever. Woo! Ooh, That's the old ready? classic. The old classic from the late I mean... 50s. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we're bringing it back. That's it. I like we're it. bringing back the old school, bringing a new school. Bell bottoms, they're coming back too. So watch mm. out. But somehow they always end up like super sexual and like your leg hair is touching my leg hair. <laughs> There's <laughs> intertwining going on right I now. I mean, if you can see what's going uh, on down here. <laughs> don't I mean, show, don't thankfully show. you're here. All right. Uh, down down like... there meaning the leg hair. Not, oh. not, yeah. <laughs> Question number one from my boy. Yes. Russo. Yes. <clears throat> How do I say this? Never have I ever. Yeah. <clears throat> never have you ever. No, never have you ever. Yeah. Ha or have you ever. Yeah. Have you never ever? <laughs> never ever? Forever <laughs> ever? Forever ever? Never have you ever yes. injured yourself trying to impress... Well, geez, trying to impress a boy or a girl. Hold on, pause. G a boy? You man, might you might have find shit again. Man, woman? Does that say that man male, in there? Female? Is it boy or girl? It says boy or girl. Fuck. Girl, see, I don't try to impress girls because that's just... That's bogus, as they say. I, do. I don't impress. I don't try to impress girls. They're what, not impressed with anything here? I got. What are we doing here then? We're, we're broing it up, man. We're fucking dreadlocking our <laughs> leg hair right now. <laughs> this is best. This, we're like this. Man. It's like what they say, you know. Guys buy fast ass cars not to impress girls, to impress other guys. Ooh. So yeah, I definitely don't try to impress girls because that's uh, that doesn't usually get me anywhere. Um, <laughs> the story you told me, bro. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's uh, oh, it's the worst. Uh, I'm not gonna go into that, but. Definitely try to impress my friends all the goddamn time, and it, yeah, it ends up bad. Remember the planking days? Oh yeah. Remember the planking days? I love the planking days. They're coming back. I've gotten friends hurt. If that if that's the same thing. Like at a heart. You hurt? landed on the spike trying to plank in the bushes. Remember downtown? Yeah, man. Again, I you was blew, to blew, you guys. <laughs> blew a hole through your leg. It happens. Uh, and we were still our, pulled next day. One of our best friends when we went to uh, Mexico. Um, oh jeez. We went to Mexico. Pre wedding. Pre wedding. Two days prior to the wedding. Through backflip, <laughs> I mean, because I mean, that's what we do. We stunt, baby. We stunt. We stunt on them, even in the ocean. <laughs> Stunting like we got him. <laughs> <laughs> twerk, 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 twerk. Landed straight yeah. on his heel, broke his heel. Almost has to, had to walk out with a crutch. He literally walked down the aisle with a limp. Not because he wanted to, because he had to. <laughs> anyway, I don't like that question. Next question. Jeez. Next one down, easy one. Have you ever, never, ever, have <laughs> what? Had, had forever? Time out. Never have ever had you ever. Never... Maybe. Have you never Maybe. ever had to run to save your life? Um, I, not that I can think of. Really? No. I mean, I run because I enjoy it. I like to stay fit. In a way, that's saving your life. In that You're case... Jeez, <laughs> yeah, man. Know? You just blew my mind. Look at that. Let me dig a hole. That's a, I'm oh. going deep, baby. I'm going deep on him. Help. <laughs> Help. I can't deep. get out. Uh, but no, not that I can think of. Honestly, I, I've never, ever... Never had to run for my life. Mm -hmm. So, brother, have you ever, never, ever... Have. Have you mm -hmm. broken something at a friend's house but not tell him about it? For some reason, before you finish that <laughs> question, you said, have you ever broken something? I was immediately thinking, dick. Have you ever <laughs> broken a dick? Um, what's the basketball player? Um... With the hair, old school bulls. Uh, Rodman. Rodman. He has a little thing on on, on the line. Oh yeah. Uh, but talks about how he broke his dick twice in his life. I don't know. I don't want to know what that because anytime you miss the hole oh, and yeah. like you fucking shank a thigh or something, it's the worst, oh, bro. It is the it's, worst. It's happened. It is definitely it's the happened worst. It's happened, and, and you, I've been hurt. Yeah. I've been hurt before. 
Bro, see, that's the thing. The question wasn't even sexual, and somehow it's still no, no, goes no, back no. to this. No, we didn't. You took it there. I All didn't right. take it there. All right. So the question is, have I ever broken something at the friend's house? 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 Uh, and, uh... Apartment? Condo? Place? And, and not bedroom? told him, or what? What the fuck is the question? Yes. Have you never, ever broken something at a friend's house, mm. and you just didn't tell him about it? You know, you put it back, mm. or, or you put it in a corner? I most definitely have. Okay. Can't remember. Probably was drunk. What happens? Probably wasn't my friend's house. <laughs> so, uh, you know, there were, there, were, there were a few borderline moments in my youth. Huh? You see how I plugged that in there? Uh, in my bogus youth, <laughs> if you will, um, that I, uh, I vaguely remember. And uh, I'm sure I've broken plenty of things, vases, glassware, um, toilet bowls. Yeah, back flipping off of like furniture onto beds, breaking them. I dig it. I dig it. Yeah. I know you're breaking plenty of stuff at your place. All the time, constantly. Oh, yeah. and you gotta break a place in if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> this is a potential, baby. <laughs> a simple question yet again. I'm a simple man. Have you it. ever, never, have ever n not jumped from a roof? Of course. Yeah. Who hasn't? Is home roof, garage roofs, yeah. sheds? Of course. Yeah. But the answer is yes. Perfect. Man. It's fun. It was fun. Uh, really exciting. So. Uh, I'm sure I twisted my leg or my ankle or, you know, scraped my knee or elbows or forearms. You mm. know, nothing too crazy. Nice. Never broken a bone. I, I know you've jumped plenty from plenty of balconies into pools and such. Um, I mean, again, there, once again, who hasn't? Who has not? So you're saying that's a, that's a simpleton question? I mean, if you're extreme. <laughs> Extreme, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Never have you ever, me ever, we ever, pressured someone into getting a tattoo or a piercing. Let's oh talk about it. Let's goodness. talk about it. This, this is, is just recent. This is every weekend. <laughs> and every weekend we are getting and not getting <laughs> tattoos. However, there was one weekend. Oh, we it, was, well. it was actually the longest day of the year. It was? Yeah. How do you remember that? Because... Who, who knows that kind of information? What's... How? I strictly... About it Anyways, can... long story short, I get a tattoo, this asshole does not, <laughs> and now I got a freaking... <laughs> tattoo on my, on my footsicle. Here. There it is. There it is. Read it and weep. Alright. But yes. So um, I got one. And I don't regret it. It was awesome. And we had some cool videos actually done on it. Oh yeah. The guy was like, hey, how does that feel? I'm like, how do you fucking like needles going into your skin and bone? Like, what do you think it feels like? That's this is exactly what it fucking felt like. I don't know because uh, I didn't get one. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> no, I've definitely been pressured yes. by you and by everybody else that was there that yeah. night. So yes, I have definitely been pressured. You were That's walking around looking at pictures of <laughs> pierced dicks and vaginas, bro. Hey man, I had to do something to pass the time. Yeah. I wasn't getting a tattoo. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> And this might be a, a side note, but we're, we're trying to keep it somewhat civilized. A little bit. Some of these fucking questions are out of this world. You want to hit them? Hit, we're hit, keeping it clean. I mean, green. check it out. Never have I ever licked the booty hole. <laughs> I'm not answering that. I'm not answering. Another question on here. Uh, never have you ever been fist <laughs> It's It's there. It's there. <laughs> not answering Go. that. Never have I ever licked my boob. That's not too bad. Alright. Never have you ever stolen something from a restaurant. Simple. Oh, shit. If you well, say no, no. Technically, no. Well, I guess we paid for dinner, but you didn't pay for what oh, you took. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't pay for what you took. So, we just turned into like a storytelling session. I, I like love this. It. This is beautiful. I this love is it. Reminiscing. Time. We went to eat for one of our friend's birthday yeah. to a fancy restaurant Oof. on a last minute notice for me, at least. And uh, we show up, we have this exquisite dinner, it was Beautiful. cool. Delicious. Meats were a flowing. Meats everywhere, meat everywhere. Meat everywhere, in a good way. <laughs> in a good way. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a bad way of meat? I'll show you later. That's a bad way, hey. for sure. I'm 20 something odd years old, I don't want to pay for this shit. Everybody goes, I take the check, I take some knives with me as well, <laughs> they nice knives, and some silverware. And we book it. Uh, I get, hold on, I, hold on, hold on. Time out. Yeah. Are you telling me right now that we didn't pay that bill? Get out. Everybody books it. I don't know why. I, I've never stolen anything in my life like on that on that kind of level. So I get out with this bill and a stack of money and two <laughs> knives stuck into my pants like a fucking pirate. I run out the opposite direction. I get like halfway outside. And then the guilt <laughs> strikes at me. I come back 
and the waiters and everybody's outside the restaurant. And I come back and I'm like, oh, these assholes try to run out on, <laughs> on the bill. These, these ones, me. <laughs> these assholes try to run out on you on the bill. The guys who gave you the money, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I okay. gave the money too. My money was in there. God, okay. All right. And I, uh, I returned <laughs> the bill. And they gave me the raunchiest look. But fuck you, I made out with the knives. And then I proceeded <laughs> drunkenly to walk 17 and a half miles <laughs> back to my house. There you go. In the most convoluted fucking way ever. Like, it was not even a straight shot. Like, I walked all over Vegas. My house was like five miles away, and I walked 17 and a half to get to it. Basically, that's the easiest way to explain it. I don't, At one point on that journey to my house, I was walking by a Walmart, and I seen some cops arresting somebody. I was this close, because I was cold, hungry, hungover, with, with fucking no phone. I was this close to walking up to those cops and saying, hey, can you give me a ride home? Because <laughs> they were arresting the dude. It's crazy. So, true story. I got it. Super I true story. Super I was true there. Story. Never have you ever... Me or, okay, never have never, we ever. Never have we ever. We, okay. Not we together, because that's going to make this okay, question okay. sound weird. <laughs> never have we ever <laughs> masturbated at somebody else's house. So, never have you ever masturbated at someone else's house. <laughs> house. Go ahead, you can take the... You can you take the, I'm asking the question, you, you go it. first. Um, plain and simple, I plead the fifth. <laughs> you can't do that, can you? F I F. Fifth. No, to be honest, um, no. Don't lie no. to me now. I mean, does your parents' house count as somebody else's? <laughs> That's worse, bro. <laughs> uh, the answer is yes. Oh, there is God. no story to go with this. The answer is yes. I'm going to keep it short and sweet myself. <laughs> if I spend a night at your house, don't leave your fucking socks laying around. <laughs> Because this is going to be a problem with them in the morning. You leave, is there a sock I can demonstrate this on? <laughs> Negative. And you're you, not having mine. You, 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 you leave a sock like this, <laughs> in the morning it's going to be like this, baby. <laughs> you're going to toss it and shoot like a boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But it was, I mean, I, I went the path of least casualties. I mean, when you think about it, you were kind of being respectful. I'm kind of like Greenpeace in that situation. I like it. All right. You didn't make a mess. You kept it civilized. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Just throw it in the washer, man. Use a little Tide on it. Or you can burn it. I mean, if you ball out like that, burning socks and shit. Hold on. Then... Did you tell them? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, once again, thank you for watching. Muchas gracias. Wrapping up the second episode. Numero dos. All I gotta say, all we gotta say dile, is. Dile, dile, Find your it. Yep. Never conform. Nunca. And always stay youthful. Yep. <laughs>